This video is going to cover the house wrap I put on my wood kiln. And it's not going to be a normal house wrap, it's going to be a peel and stick house wrap. And I'll kind of explain a little bit as to the benefits of peel and stick as I go along in this video. But the first step is I'm going to use some blue skin tape to go all around the base and to give me kind of double up the tape protection on the bottom sill plate. This is just so that when nails go through the foam for the foundation insulation, I'll have double the tape there and double the chance of getting a good air seal, which will wrap from this bottom blue skin all the way up and over the top of the roof and back down to the other side. And that should give me a full air seal over the complete building. And that's in addition to its waterproofing capabilities. So this house wrap is really special. <clears throat> this is basically just insurance. Because I'm going to take this blue skin, wrap it down, and it's the, the blue blue skin is going to terminate around the same area. And then I'm going to hit both with a beta call call or sealant all the way around. And then it'll be done. You can see I'll have some origami to do to get this house wrap down around these corners, but it won't be too bad. All right, I'm running out of daylight, so let me get this done. Standard house wrap will not give you an air seal in the way this stuff will because air will leak through all the fastener holes and staples and seams that come along with standard house wrap. With this style house wrap, it's important to start at the bottom just as you would a normal house wrap so that each succeeding layer will shingle over the one below it. Oh, uh, origami, origami, origami. This first row takes forever. It'll be a miracle if I could finish this today. I doubt it though.
The nice thing about blue skin is that it also comes with marks on it so you can just measure out the length you need without using a tape measure. So I pretty much caulk every seam on the blue skin except for the horizontal overlaps. So all the vertical seams and all the little cut seams and origami pieces underneath the ledge, I just caulk every edge and then go back and trowel it with a putty knife. That way all the edges will stay down and won't peel up at all. So it poured all night and all day, pretty much. And the sun came out about an hour ago. And I've got a couple hours left in the day, so I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully finish this. You got to wrap nicely up and over the top now. So I'm gonna go around the other side, finish that side. I'm gonna do this one and hopefully have enough daylight to do the top. Another benefit of this blue skin house wrap is that when I go to put on my siding, the nails that I pierce this material with will self-seal or self-gasket. So that means that when the nail goes through it, 
and into a stud, hopefully, hopefully I won't miss. That will keep a good air seal on that penetration. And a good air seal will prevent air leakage, which brings with it water vapor and eventually rot. So having a good air seal on the building will make the building more efficient, but also make it last longer. Okay, so some blue skies finally. So I was able to finish even though I ran out of daylight, but I uh, figured I'd show you one last time kind of the under the ledge and how I sealed everything so that even though it's kind of cut and origami, it's all sealed. And I didn't get any good shots kind of overall of it done, but you can see from here the top two courses kind of lap down over the sides and I sealed all the edges. So essentially it's just one giant freezer box. And it's actually so sealed that the door it does not shut very easily. And the final thing I wanted to say about Blueskin was uh, the stuff is great because it does air seal but it allows water vapor to pass through it. So it allows the wood to dry out without letting bulk air and water through. So without getting into a lot of building science that just know that that's one of its main benefits.